and uh, because these are going to have a metal finish um, I want to have a, a slight bevel to all of the edges um, which will just pick up some uh, reflections um, oh, I don't want to make them too big though to show the end result and bring those down move right in so you can see what we're doing and uh, if you can't see the um, the transform gizmo at any point if you press uh, spacebar it will lock the selection and you'll be able to transform using the last um, constrained to the last uh, direction you had it set to, so Z here. That's quite a nice little way of um, it's 11 o'clock, excuse the clock. Um, okay, so those are set there and then I'm going to unlock these uh, by pressing space again, pressing I to choose um, these guys down here which are set into the pavement. I'm just going to move those down so they're at the right height to there. And then uh, click off those to select nothing. Press I. Uh, sorry, go to um, above the extrude. I'm going to put an edit poly. Go to the edges and I want to select all of the edges and I'm going to give them a, 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 shite, a slight chamfer and uh, it's a barely noticeable thing but uh, these will just pick up uh, reflections and glint nicely they'll, they'll look good with that bevel on there it's, it's worth doing um, okay, uh, I think the only other thing uh, I can see here is um, I, ha I did draw in these uh, paving stones in the middle, and um, I think I'm going to get rid of I think I'm going to get rid of these. Uh, these will just be gravel around here. I think they, they look a bit relentless at the moment. Too many of them. So just go to the top viewport. And uh, if you're not sure about making changes, um, you can go and add an edit spline above there and this is a good way of um, making changes you're not sure about because you can always undo it just by deleting that modifier there this and I won't accidentally shift anything by mistake. Alright, so delete those guys there. Here. And here. Right, okay, so those are going to be filled in by gravel, but uh, we don't have any gravel at the moment, so that's what we're going to do next. So we'll just click off this, we'll have to wait while it rebuilds the extrude on those. to create plane uh, make sure the snaps are on again to set to vertex and from the top left I'm going to drag down to the bottom right and I want this to sit uh, underneath the paving slabs just there a dreadful colour, we'll just change that quickly. Uh, and <coughs> that's not going to cut the mustard because it's going to go over the um, the ponds that we made. 
so I, we'll have to fix that. Um, maybe the, the, I think the best way to do this is not use a plane actually. Um, we'll use uh, a rectangle. We'll just draw that again and delete the plane. And then we need uh, to draw some more. by name and we're going to choose the um, pool liners and we'll just with the snaps draw around those guys um, choose the pool liners and hide them again just in the front view port we'll check that everything is at the right height you see they were snapped to the top of those liners so we can just bring those uh, bring those down level whoops bring those down level with that first rectangle right click on it convert it to an editable spline um, we're hunting for attach Attach those guys, and then apply a um, you can apply a, a face extrude, or if we want to map this anyway, if we do a map, it, it will do exactly the same thing. Uh, and that's going to be set to a real world map, real real world map size. And you can see there we have the same as the plane, but we've got some holes cut in it um, for the uh, pond liners, so we can see the water. It's that same dreadful color. I'll change that. in the perspective viewport uh, right that's that's pretty much the modeling all the modeling we're going to do for this uh, the rest of the things uh, the next stage will be um, materials we're going to save this file now I'm going to go save as I'm going to save up from the first file so it's now example garden 002 and uh, I have all the materials um, in the material editor here and uh, materials are something when I've got a bit of time at the office I'll uh, spend time trying to get these just right it's not something I could easily go through quickly um, but none of the, saying that none of these are uh, super complicated and we'll go through what they all are now um, so the first object we're going to choose to apply the materials to is the stone finish and we've got three stones here um, um, a light stone color a dark stone color which is what we're going to use and then a light stone color with a brick course to it and this dark material uh, to the finish here there we go and uh, you can see I'm using another multi sub object material here and I've the way I created this was I created one stone material and uh, I got happy with that uh, so I rendered that uh, made sure I was happy with it and this is I think this one is the slightest is the it's only slightly complicated it has a bit of a reflective glossiness to it just to make it pop um, compared to the, the the rest of the pavement but other than that there's there's really not much happening in the material that's that's complicated where um, where it starts looking a bit complicated here is uh, the diffuse textures that I'm using. I'm not bothering to use a bump on this at all. Um, so if I go down to the diffuse texture again, just as a, a habit, I always add a, a color correct uh, on top of every um, bitmap I always use, and uh, I'm making this one darker here. Uh, and uh, I think I just. I made a mistake I didn't mean to change that uh, and I've desaturated it a bit as well um, and if I go to the uh, if I click down here in the navigator for the, the diffuse map slot in the three sub object materials so one two and three they're identical apart from in this diffuse map uh, slot color correction map um, 
this setting here is slightly different so 0.53 in the first one 0.55 and 0.57 and that was just me playing uh, making these darker until I, I got the uh, the effect I wanted but because they're, they're now three almost identical materials they're, they're only differing in um, in how dark they are so if we um, if we apply that uh, to, to see what that's doing um, to this finish here nothing much seems to happen until we click on uh, material by element and we want to randomly distribute the material IDs uh, on this object and there are three sub-object materials so we're going to choose three uh, ID counts here and so if you if you come out you can zoom out you can see each each stone has been given a slightly different um, hue uh, and that's picking up material ID 1, material ID 2 and uh, material ID 3 uh, the, the other thing that's happening in this material uh, when we look at the uh, the navigator oh, when we look at the navigator so this uh, map here is the same for all three uh, diffuse slots underneath the color correction the color correction is the only thing that's changing there and what I'm doing it here is I'm mixing uh, the same map uh, at different scales and that's just hiding the tiling effect if we look at the image it's it's a, I think it's a 2048. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, so it's 2048 by 2048. So it's a square tiling texture. And if we zoom in to one on one, you can see there's there's quite a lot of um, variation in there. Uh, so we can apply that at quite a big, um, quite a big scale. Um, but if we, if we have a look at the scales, um, the first uh, I'm mixing um, the same map. Uh, I'm mixing 25%, so I'm getting 25% of this one. And if we have a look at that, it's at um, I've slightly offset it, and the uh, size is at one meter. And if I go to the next one, it's at one and a half meters, and, and again offset there. Um, so by blending these two maps at different um, uh, different sizes, you, you, you're sort of really covering up the, the tiling effect. And actually looking at it, I think the other thing I've done here um, to, to um, increase the way the uh, materials are, are, are different, uh, pardon me, to increase uh, how they look, uh, the, d the difference between them, I'll spit this out eventually, um, I'm also changing uh, the offset value so if I look at the offset values on each uh, material here they're all different so all of these are just slightly different offset values which means that um, the color correction is taking care of the uh, the darkness of each material and that offset there is uh, making sure that the map uh, doesn't line doesn't line up between two apparently different um, stones and then the size in the uh, in the mix is, is is hiding how those textures tile um, and maybe a good way to understand this is to take one of these materials um, uh, and then um, just apply it to a box in the scene and you can you can see what what's happening by uh, altering the values there but it's just small changes um, which will hide the tiling effect of, of textures, which is uh, something I'm always striving to do.